Well, that's a good clue to start off the video. Uh, royal gown top. Uh, I believe I have two royal pieces already. Oh, I have three. Is that the set? Is that actually the set? Oh, I'm looking snazzy. I'm not sure if there's any other pieces. All right, let's try putting it into the storage unit. And it goes right in. Now we don't have to care about royal pieces ever again. All right, I'm happy. That worked out. Okay, it is time, guys. Uh, check the Slayer task. We have Avancies in the God Wars dungeon. So that means we're going to be starting some Arma finally. And I've been dreading this boss for a very long time. But I do have some good news. It's not really news, but I do have 5,000 uh, red chins that I got at, like, the start of this account when I trained my hunter. Uh, and I haven't been back. So, um, as far as I know, these red chins, if I use them at Arma and I do it well, should be about, like, 150 kills or something like that. As for the boss itself, though, um, all the uniques are something I do want. I've always been under the uh, opinion that the Arma, like, gear is actually pretty lackluster. It's not even that great, in my opinion. It's such a small difference over regular Dehyde, but it is still, you know, best in slot, so I do want it. Uh, I'm really hoping to get the helmet, weirdly enough, because I want to get that for the Ku Scroll. Uh, the hilt is just for collection at that point, but yeah, never done Arma before, but this is going to be a f fun, that's a strong word, uh, learning experience. All right, because a lot of people might not be aware. Here's a quick tip. Uh, I'm trying to get soft clay for me to make some tabs uh, for Arma. Bracelets of clay give you twice as many from these soft clay rocks in Prif. And if you wear the Varrock armor, that's an additional chance. So sometimes you can get three in one mine. It's super fast. Way better than the, the old, like, crafting guild method. I might as well show you where this mine is. It's right here, so just west of the anvil and the bank. So that dungeon right there. Bones to Peaches tabs? Check. Ecumenical keys? Check. Shitty inventory and gear? Check. <sighs> this is gonna really suck to learn, but I'm only bringing 200 chins to start off with, so that if I do fail and I die, I don't lose a huge stack right away. But yeah, hopefully this goes over well. Okay, I, I got it. I think this is the angle that I'll try. That should work. I'll probably have to bank after this kill, and that's fine. But I think I got it in my head. All right, that's some incredibly fast improvement. Uh, I just got an eight kill trip. That was trip number three. So the, uh, the first trip that we did, I got two kills. Uh, I fucked up real bad. The, the second trip was four kills. And now we got an eight kill trip. So fast improvements. Uh, learning the, uh, the click rotation with the chins is actually a lot easier than I thought. I can already expect that I'm going to enjoy this boss going for it. Like, I, I really do enjoy just how the boss works and stuff. It's just kind of annoying when your crossbow just doesn't hit uh, when there's no melee minion left. And you just sit there and you're just like, okay, not going to hit, huh? <laughs> no, but I, I can definitely see that I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm getting so many hard clues from Arima. Got a master from this one. Let's actually hopefully be able to do it. Unlike the last one. Yo, this is my first time getting the infernal axe step for fallow. <laughs> so the reason why I'm recording this is I actually never made it. I was just waiting for the step. Otherwise I was just going to keep the smoldering stone. So Luckily, I did get one from Cerberus, uh, my only one, but here we go. Making the Infernal Axe, this is permanent, and voila, that item is done forever. Um, and I actually do have some plans for this, uh, possibly post-max. We'll see how it goes, because it apparently is really good passive fire-making experience, assuming you have the axes, which I certainly do. So, definitely a useful item. But yeah, the only fallow step... Uh, Funnily enough, that I'm missing is the Arma Helm. So I was really, really scared that I was going to get it while doing this task. Thank God I didn't. Here we go. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck? That was like the shittiest kill ever. <laughs> oh my God. There's no way. All right. <laughs> Arma Chest Chestplate, literally the, probably the best drop to get first too. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I was here. <laughs> okay, you know what? Um, I mean, technically, I'm pretty sure Bando started like this, where I was really lucky at the start. And then he just proceeded to hate me for the remainder of eternity. So I'm not getting my hopes up too much about finishing this boss early, but, you know, the hope is there. This would be a perfect boss to, like, finish early because there's so much prep involved. I mean, the two most important items here is obviously the top and bottom. So if I get the bottom, we're 
essentially done, you know, practically. Uh, but again, I still want that helm. But, dude, that was so quick. First task, 36 KC. Woo. That's so good, man. Oh, he's fucking smacking me. Very good hits, though, from my, uh, my chins. Oh, my God, I did 200 damage. Very nice. What do I say? What do I actually say to this? What is happening? I, I was so not looking forward to this boss. What was I waiting for? It's this easy. You just get spoon fed and you're fine. You just get spoon fed. It's that easy, guys. Everyone always tells me like, yo, I'm so dry on this and that. Like, dude, just get the drop. And that I was t I was telling my chat earlier today after I got that uh that chest plate. The hilt is one of the better drops. Like it's it's my least needed, I would say. Uh, in terms of the uses, but like it's the rarest drop, so now I have a much better chance of finishing the boss early than if the hilt was my last drop. So that is fantastic, and I have a blade ready in the bank. <laughs> Holy shit! Right, and that is the task over. Um, so yeah, again, we're gonna try this kill. It's probably not gonna work very well. I have plenty of supplies, but we'll see if I even get it. I'm getting shredded right now, and we attempted for the back to back, didn't happen, but. Always got to try. And before you ask, yes, I, d I did forget <laughs> to bring the armor chest plate. Don't at me. And everyone's favorite part. Let's connect the Godsword Blade to the hilt for the Armital Godsword. Dude, it's such a nice, like, classic item. Completely useless uh, for me, but, I mean, come on. It's the AGS. If you, I mean, minus, like, some of the new items, if you were like this back in, back in the day, man, you'd have people following you, asking you for money. Get fucked. <laughs> and of course I'm gonna go check the max hit I have to. I haven't, honestly, I have not used this item. I don't think I've ever used this item pre-EOC. Maybe I did way back in the day, but not in this combat system, so. This is really cool. I, I remember watching a lot of people use it, but. Uh, let's go check out the max hits. Um... So, with, with just my max strength gear, uh, I don't think I have anything higher than this currently. So, my max hit is 83. Holy fuck. As for Slayer, I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess 90. 92! Oh my god! We are now 3 out of 4 God Swords on this account. The only one we're missing is Zami, which I do want to complete the Zami God Wars uh, collection log. Absolutely. Uh, the problem that I'm having is that you really can't get him on Konar. So once I finish Konar, I'll be able to get back to Zami. Uh, unless I get, like, a boss task. Probably won't, but... but yeah, first armor task, extremely successful. It went way better than I thought. I was putting this off for so long, so I'm happy it turned out. Even, like, besides the drops, I'm happy the trips went well. Um, I think I think I'm getting the strategy down, and it's just it's kind of a fun boss. But yeah, we gotta get back into Slayer. That is a task I would like to see. 37 rune dragons. Here we go. I am almost certain that is new. Blue wizard robe G. <laughs> nice. So for context, we are starting with 22 rune dragon kills. I must have done a task or two here before. And yeah, I have decided I will be doing extended super anti-fires here. I said I was only going to use this at Vorkath, but I'm going to only use like two potions here. Per task, which is one Vorkath kill. I think that's worth it, because it allows me to do the Defender. Um, and we're also going to use the Slaughter, because I want to maximize the kills here. Let's do it. And that is the Rune Dragon task. It went super smooth. Um, definitely, it was the play to use that Super Anifier. Absolutely. We haven't been back to Thermi in a while, so this is going to be a nice break. Uh, 167. Got an Elite Clue from Thermi. Can I get anything? I certainly can't. <laughs> Ooh, already a thousand kills at the thermonuclear vacuum. One third of the pet rate. Let's keep it going. It really is a vacuum. I've gotten three air moon drops in a row. <laughs> Ooh, another occult necklace. I think that's number three. So, KC 1086. 11, 19 kills to finish the task. Kind of a nice breather between the other other bosses. I've been waiting for one of these. Uh, 129 worms. So when I got my lance, uh, if you guys remember, I did unblock worms and drakes because I would like to get their uniques. They got some cool items. 
never been a huge fan of worms, but I actually have a lot of kills here with, like, nothing. Uh, where are my worms? I have 900 kills at this place, and I'm missing everything. I don't think I have anything from worms yet. But let's just hope it turns around and we get something. Boom. <gasps> I got it! Yes! Finally! Oh my god, it took so many clues! I have been waiting for a new clue unique for clue scrolls for so long. Zami Full Helm, you need it for a master. Whew, we're still missing the Bandos Plate Body and the obviously the Black Dragon Mask, but this is a big one. We got the step done. I don't think I have the sword though. You need the sword for the step. Which I think you need like a side quest. Yeah, general shadow. So if I do get that step, we can go do it. Damn, we're really out. <laughs> 19 Karmbonji left. Uh okay. So I started fishing Karmwans with a uh, hundred thousand of these things. So <laughs> we've used every single one. I I suppose this could serve as a nice example of how many like fish you could expect per Karmwanji. Because I ended with 67,000. And I had roughly 100,000 to start. So it's roughly one and a half Karmwanji per fish. That's a good way to look at it for anyone who is 99 fishing. Because I'm pretty sure the, the rate is based on your fishing level. Well, seeing as I still don't have the Heron pet, uh, I gotta get more of these things. I don't know how many we're gonna go for, but if I start with 100,000 last time, we may as well just get another 100,000. We'll see how it goes. But this is pretty AFK. Definitely more AFK than actually doing Karm 1, so I will enjoy myself here for the next 150,000 hours. And just like that, I fished 200,000. You know what? I said fuck it. Let's just double it. And this amount should get me up to 200,000 Karm ones in the bank. I am ready. Ooh, Master Clue. Can this be worth my time? Uh, absolutely not. And that is all she wrote. Worms task done. I will say, love this task with the lance. Like, I hated these before. Like I showed you guys, I had 900 uh, with a whip, which was so slow. I barely was taking damage uh, with the bandos and everything. Oh, this was great. Um, I was getting 34,000 Slayer an hour as well, which is such a nice number to see on an Iron Man. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to see the Dragon Sword or the Dragon Harpoon. They're both 1 in 2,000, so we are at the drop rate for one of them. A massive Hydra task, 181. This one will for sure put us over 1,000 KC, because I think we're at um, yeah 782. So 781 of the boss, I think. 800 Hydra. Well, we just got 96 defense. Hell yeah. 21 million fishing. Easy game. Oh, and uh, this is like right after the last clip, but I've been meaning to get this. 40 million farming as well. I did say we were working on the daily tree runs again. I am doing my contracts here every now and then to get some extra seeds. Onwards to 50 mil. All right, well, there's uh, the fourth uh, chemical hydra heads. I guess that's all we're going to get now. <laughs> 900. Well, there you have it. 1,000 alchemical hydra kill count. Oh, we did it. Quad digits. Uh, I actually got a bank, but we got four more left in the task list, so let's knock this out. 1,008 kills. My, uh, my slaughter really frocked a lot towards the end. But, man, I have done so much Hydra today. 142 kills in one day. That's definitely the best I've ever had. So, I'm proud of myself. And uh, I'm not burnt somehow. <laughs> Just found out. Look at that. The bank is 2 billion coins. Onwards to 3 bill. Alright, this is kind of monumental. So, we have a, an Elite and Hard from fishing. But this Hard Clue is my 400th. Here we go. Yep, <laughs> but 400 hard clues, that's pretty sick. And for the elite. Yep. Thermi task done again. 1249 Casey. Nothing that time. Uh, now that's interesting. Abyssal Sire. So I did end up getting the bludgeon super early, but I'm still technically mess missing the pet and the jar. This could be kind of fun to try out. Let's do 35. Fuck it. All right. The beginner clue is 208, and then the easy clue is 209. So that means the medium has to be 210, right? Nope. So it's been many months since I've done this boss. Uh, we have seen a lot of upgrades, like my gloves, boots, full bandos now. 
uh, and the armor chest plate. And I think I also have a new assembler. So they've also done a ton of quality of life updates to this boss. Like your hits between phases actually transfer through as far as I know. And then there's a lot less delays and stuff. So hopefully it'll be better. I haven't heard the greatest things about this boss. It's still kind of shit. But only got 35, so about two hours. That's actually so good, dude. <laughs> okay, so it's been so long. So back in episode 28, we finished Sire in 322 kills. Five Unsireds in that many uh, KC. And we get a sixth one at 333, of course. <laughs> of course. Now, when I say finish, we got the bludgeon, we got a dagger, we got the head, uh, and we obviously have gotten whips. So the only things I've been missing from the Sire Log is the pet and the jar. I will take either of them. Especially with my jar luck, it'd be amazing to get another one, right? So, <laughs> let's just go. If we start another bludgeon, that's cool, uh, I guess. Here we go. Please be pet. Whip. All right. Whip is fine. Uh, I think that's the 10th in the bank, so. More whips for the tentacle whip if I ever <laughs> continue to use that weapon. Very next kill, we get an elite clue. Jeez. And we are graced with bronze dragon mask, musketeer hat. Ugh. Those are both duplicates. That was worth it. 35 kills. You also get that 5k XP bonus. So, yeah, I mean, anytime I get a Sire task, I'll definitely do it. I, I enjoyed it. And with my kind of luck, I mean, I should continue it. But uh, we do have Abbey Demons blocked, so uh, we probably won't see this for a while. That's a task I've been waiting for. 31 Mythal Dragons. Uh, how much can you, like, can you get? That seems a little low. Oh, okay. So it goes 20 to 40. I thought it'd be more than that. Maybe I'll use Slaughters on these guys. So I did mention, uh, you know, I just love doing dragons and I would love to get a dragon full helm. So passively through Slayer, if I can knock out some chewed bones, that would be very cool. Oh, and before I forget, I mentioned this a while ago, but we should buy the duly noted perk. So 200 points, but this task should get me the 100 point bonus. Um, so now I get noted Mithra bars. Not that I really need them. I just think it'd be fun to collect. Because I may as well if I'm going to kill a bunch. But this is the gear I'm looking at. Uh, should be pretty good. Not going to see any issues here. 97 defense. Two more to go. We're so close to max melees. It's over already. But you know what's really cool? We did actually get a chewed bones. So I'm going to use that up. And hope for the best. You guys know the drill. Chewed bones are roughly like 1 in 42 I think. So yeah, when you actually offer them, it's 1 in 256 to get the Dragon Full Helm. So, really rare, but possible, I suppose. Good luck me. Oof. <laughs> uh, at least it tracks the uh, spirits laid to rest, and uh, this came out before I started doing Chewed Bones. So we are, yes, at a total of two. But, you know, as I do more and more Mythal Dragons, that number hopefully will grow. And that's another new task, uh, 91 Drakes. I'm meaning to try this as well. Hopefully we can get some uniques. Master Clue? Not even that bad. This was really quick, so... Makes sense for how easy it was. Well, that was great. I love this task. They're so fast. Um, and if... If you just count to seven, and they do their special, you can dodge it. You don't need any NFR. It's fantastic. Super easy task. And actually banks some decent prayer, because these are 10% better than Dragon Bones. So yeah, I am... Fully excited to get more of these tasks going forward. Hydras. <laughs> of course. Of course, Hydras. <laughs> it's a really small it's a really small amount, so that should be fine. But back to this boss. 97 Slayer. Probably will not get anywhere close to finishing my PVM goals uh, by the time I'm 99. But I'm trying my damnedest. Now, the last time I used my Brimstone Keys, I mentioned that I would do them at the end of every video. But I thought it would be a little bit better to open them every level. So, from 96 to 97, we got 20 Brimstone Keys, which is a lot better than last time, I think. I think we had 17. Uh, let's see what we can get here. Okay. Uh, a lot of good seeds, so that's cool. 80k average. I don't know what the average is now with the market, but I, I thought it was like 100k per key. I don't know. Brimstone chest count is now up to 45. I think it might be more than that. Uh, we might have opened some before the counter, but yeah, 45 so far. 
one day we're gonna get like that dusk mystic but yeah what an episode guys we got the chest play and the armor of god sword from kree we unfortunately didn't get a second task uh in all of that slayer but we're gonna go finish this hydra task uh at the start of the next video uh, two more levels to go to finish the grind. But like I said, we're probably going to have to go farther than 99 to finish up, like, the prayer and other bosses. So, yeah, I think this is a good time to stop. So, we'll leave it for next time. If you haven't yet, check out my live stream over on Twitch. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good day. <laughs>